looks so good. Oh my god, that tastes like Starbucks. to get to this recipe. What's up? Welcome, guys. Welcome to my pie day. Okay. So I decided to do the pumpkin pie first because it takes the longest. What's up, guys? So I was originally going to do um, the pumpkin pie first, but my husband put these in the freezer, even though they're supposed to be in the refrigerator. So now we have to wait, and I'm going to have to let them 
defrost. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yes, we're gonna do shepherd's pie right now. Um, Hello, I also made myself a pumpkin spice latte because I had pumpkin puree and I never have pumpkin, pumpkin puree unless I'm making pie. Hi, what's up? Okay, so for this recipe, I am using an authentic recipe from the BBC, which the British people really know how to make shepherd's pie because they invented it. So, yeah. Why you delete the taco stream? I did not delete the taco stream. I'm not too sure. It should be up there. If not, it could be because I think for that stream, I forgot to use uh, the proper lo-fi music and they might have like took it off for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh darn, they did. Oh, I gotta be more careful. Okay. For the shepherd's pie, you need some type of ground meat. I'm using um, ground beef because I think I don't use lamb because I think it's sad because they like kill them when they're babies and I don't want to do that. So. Also, using carrots and onions. I already chopped up these onions, so they're ready to go. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, this recipe, Oh, damn. Snickers, you got me. <laughs> Don't mess up the shepherd's pie. Oh, no. So much pressure. Look at it. I'm using this, like, no-fuss shepherd's pie recipe. It's literally from the BBC. I can't mess it up. Okay. So, let's see. What we... Um, we're going to heat some oil in the pan. And after the oil heats up, we're gonna add our onions. They want us to use a whole onion. And these carrots, I think I'm going to chop them up a bit. They're like carrot chips, but I feel like they just need to be diced. So we're going to, we're going to do that. You guys get to uh, judge my cutting skills right now or lack of skills. <laughs> I also want to add, this is my first time making 
anything remotely similar to shepherd's pie. Don't be clumsy, candy cook. <laughs> clumsy candy chopping off her fingers with the carrot. I like a lot of veggies, so I'm gonna put a lot of carrots in there. Why not? I've only had shepherd's pie one time, and it was at Universal Studios at Harry Potter World, and um, they served shepherd's pie, and I also tried scotch eggs, which are amazing. You don't like carrots in your shepherd's pie? You have to have some veggie. What do you like? Do you like peas in it at least? I don't know, do you guys think these are enough carrots? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna throw the onions in now. It's an entire onion. Lower the heat a little bit. Woo, smells. I have not watched that. I am, <laughs> no, I don't mind at all. I'm 25. What about everyone else? How old are you guys? Or as I used to say, how young are you? How funny! 22, 23, 24. Now someone that's 25 has to comment. I am a Libra. Do you guys believe in the zodiac or do you feel like it's all like made up and wise and that it can like apply to anyone? I 
I read a lot about Libra, and honestly, I'm like, okay, that sounds like me. Yep, that sounds like me. But I haven't read the other ones, so I don't know if they all sound like me. taken down because of the music because I guess the lo-fi was copyright so I was good today and I did like non copyrighted playlist so yeah um okay what, what does it want us to do okay so we heated up the chopped onions and then we need to dump the meat in there with the onions. So we can do that. Letting that cook a little bit. Hello. Hello, Yama. Okay. Um. Alright. And then we're going to add the peas and the carrots after it cooks a little bit and then the tomato puree and the Worcestershire sauce Actually not. <laughs> it's Worc Worc Worcestershire. 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 <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Next. 
here. I like a lot of veggies, so I would say just add how much veggies that you'll actually eat. If you don't like a lot of veggies, then I wouldn't put it in there because it's going to be good regardless, but I like a lot of veggies, so I put a lot of peas and a lot of carrots. I get it. I get it, random. I did see the Mario movie trailer. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Chris Pratt? What do you guys think of his accent? He doesn't really sound like Mario. I wish they just had the original Mario. I agree. Jack Black was... Jack Black did good. He's going to be good in it. Very true, Yamni. <laughs> I heard that the OG voice actor is in the movie. But it's like, that's kind of like messed up. It's like, yeah, you can be in the movie, but you're not going to play the voice that you've done for many years. You're just going to be someone else. It's like, that's weird. <clears throat> they should do like a Luigi's Mansion movie. That'd be fun. Okay, I need to add... I need to add a large splash of Worcestershire. That's what it says. I don't know what a large splash is, but we're going to do it. Just. We used a lot, so hopefully that's what was supposed to happen. That was a large. The ASM marble. Oh my god, I remember that. I have it. Hold on. <laughs> it's this one, right? And we went like something like that. I forgot how we even did the ASMR thing last time. I'm gonna have to figure it out when I'm washing dishes. Okay, guys, who's good at math? How much is 500 milliliters? Like, how many cups is that? I don't, I don't know how much that is. Okay, two teaspoons of tomato puree. That's easy.
Okay. Thank you. Two and an eight. Okay. I feel like two would be fine, right? Aw, oh, thank you so much, Ethica. You're so sweet. You guys hear the sizzling? Okay, so I'm gonna use, it says that you're supposed to use beef stock, but I'm just gonna use chicken broth because that's what I had, and I do not waste animal products, so. Okay, so one thing I noticed, and maybe the Brits in the chat can help me, it's kind of watery, so what, should we use a little flour in it? Just a little bit water, unless it's going to thicken up as it cooks a little, or if it's, it's supposed to be like that, I don't know. That's good? Well, there's pumpkin pie next, Tama, so. They should make a Mario and Luigi versus Sonic and Knuckles movie. I'm not big in the universe, so I know, I can't picture what Knuckles looks like right now, but I know you're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, right? The blue one that they just made a movie about. I gotta stay up to date with this. Okay, okay, I see. I feel like Sonic would totally beat Mario and Luigi. Si, sí, yo habla español un poquito. Bonk. I sometimes watch television in Spanish just to get better at my Spanish. Mi acento es no bueno, en mi opinión. Mario cheat. Wait, how does how does Mario cheat? That's not good. Okay, this is looking good. Um, you know what we have to do, you guys. We have to peel potatoes, don't we? Lots of potatoes. like an auto peeler because that'd be really nice.
Okay, my potato experts. Am I supposed to get all these like little divots? Oh, I speak Spanish optimally. Muchas gracias. There's a machine that you can buy that makes french fries out of ordinary potatoes. There is a product called the Irish Prep Bowl. Is that a real thing? Is that like, is it gonna actually peel the potatoes for me? Wait, you guys didn't answer my question. Or maybe you did. I'm supposed to, so I am supposed to get like those little divots? I don't know. I'm not a potato. The only like potato dish that I've made is like mashed potatoes, like for Thanksgiving. Yeah. But I don't like always get. Hey, you got me again. Damn it. Sam, a man, what's up? I am doing good today. I am happy to be peeling potatoes and making. A shepherd's pie. Honestly, I feel like I'm back in the olden days, like making a shepherd's and like pumpkin pie. Peel those bits off. Okay. Mmm, you made me mmm. Potato. Can you eat a potato raw? Still deciding on a costume. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do more cosplays. Um, but my husband wants to be the Riddler for Halloween. So I have to be either like Catwoman or Harley Quinn or Batgirl to match. So I'll probably be one of those. But I am going to do a starlight costume close to Halloween. I'm going to make it. So I haven't looked up if you can buy a starlight costume yet, but um, I just felt like can making mine. So it's taking kind of long. What am I cooking? I'm cooking shepherd's pie. And right after we finish putting the shepherd's pie in the oven, I'm going to do... Um, pumpkin pie. An actual candy cane. <laughs> like, paint my face and everything, and just, like, stand somewhere and just be like, wait, how do you even, like, how do you shape yourself like a candy cane? Yeah, kind of like that, but I have to go like that. <laughs> Sweet. I'm good. Thank you. How are you guys doing? What the heck? There is like a tumor inside this potato. Like every time I like go like that, I just see the tumor still. Weird. Come on. Need to perform surgery on this potato. Okay, I finally, I finally scraped it off. I'm chilling, cooking barbecue ribs. That just sounds like a rap song to me. Like, you just made some good lyrics. Chillin', cooking barbecue ribs with all my, with all my hoes. You want me to speak to you guys in Spanish? I don't know what you say. I feel like everyone always says that. It's like, oh, you speak German or you speak Russian? Say something to us in that language. Like, and then people are always like, I don't know what to say. In the crib. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one, Nakama.
Oops. Second potato is done. Uno más. Make my skin crawl when I see Bruce or Turner. Turner. Really? This one is like free from that. This is a pretty clean potato, but it's also like flattened. Wait, shoot, don't we have to boil these potatoes? I feel like I should get the water boiling. PlayStation 5, would consider playing a Gotham Knights live stream that comes out this month. I have PlayStation 5. Um, are you talking about the, is that the Batman game? Multiverse, I've played, I suck at multiverse. I still, I still have to play, um, the, I don't know what it's called, but the other Batman game, like, the one that came out a couple years ago, that's like, I just bought that on Steam. Just because, like, I played that game, like, with my family growing up, so that's why it's, like, important to me. I know it's not, like, that great. The newer ones are better. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is good. I started playing that. But, I don't know. Something about, like, the games you played during childhood, they just, like, sometimes, like, stick with you, and you just miss them. I don't know, do you guys have any games like that, like from your childhood, where it's like now looking back, it's like, yeah, they kind of suck, but you still like to play them. Netherlands, how awesome. 
I really want to visit like Denmark and Sweden and that whole area. I went to a museum that had like that whole um, part of the world and the history of it and I was like so fascinated by it. Ah, greetings from Canada, eh? Welcome. I want to visit Canada too. Canada has a lot of beautiful gardens. Um, the bush, 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 bush gardens. Those look really cool. Okay, let's see here. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Bish, how am I going to figure this out? Heat the oven to 180 C, fan, 160 gas, 4, then make the mash. What is this translation? What is this? Oh my god, from Alaska? Have you seen the northern lights? I want to go over there too to see the northern lights. I know the most basic things about every country. <laughs> oh, Rome too, yes. Yes, I am part Italian, so I would love to go see where my ancestors are from. You have the real poutine. I love poutine. Bundle up. <laughs> Well, it's hot here, so it would be nice to escape the heat. It's like almost fall, and it's still hot in California, of course. I... Guys, I literally don't know, like, what. I don't... I think it's a, I think it's an electric oven. I look yes. I'm very comfy. Just wearing I love wearing like sweats and a little sports bra. She's so comfortable. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to go ask to try and figure out what an uh, oven that we have. One second. Okay guys, I found out we have a, a fan oven, so let me see what I set the temperature at. <gasps> They're amazing, oh my god. Go as Mario for Halloween. You know what I was almost going to do guys? I was almost going to go as Waluigi and Wario. My husband was going to be one of them, and I was going to be the other one. <laughs> 180 doesn't sound right. Hold on. Let me, let me look it up. One eighty seems really low. I feel like it's maybe three fifty. Let's see. Four hundred. Okay, four hundred for thirty minutes. It says. Okay. That says if necessary to broil it at the end, which means put it to the highest temperature possible. Did you know raw is bad? Oh, does it really?
Nice. <laughs> I don't think I have a potato masher. say I'm 420 friendly. I mean, I'm in, I am in California. It is legal over here. You just gifted. Oh my god, thank you. That's so sweet. Okay. I'm going to have to deliver some pie to you guys. Are you going to watch the new Black Panther movie? I don't know. I never saw the first Black Panther. So do I have to see the first one to watch the second? That's the only thing stopping me. Or else I would I would see the, the second one. Will I have to see the first one? Uh, I might not. What time? It is 4.50 p.m. Oh my god. Wait, do you guys like horror movies? So, have you seen the preview for that movie, Smile? I think it's actually in theaters right now. It's a really fucking creepy movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I am i don't know if I want to. It's freaking scary. If you get scared easily, don't watch the trailer. But if you like horror movies, look it up. I'm serious. scared you so much that you thought it looked stupid <laughs> speaking of horror all my marvel fans staying up till midnight to watch werewolf by night it's actually been a while since the movie actually scared the shit out of me check it out the preview is freaky for sure okay let's see if these potatoes are ready like a lot of ah! <laughs> five second rule 
We're gonna put it back in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna not use a knife to pick it up this time. <laughs> Maybe they'll cook faster if I cut them in half. Let me see. For some reason, Yobi, I read that as a perfect shulk, and I was like, what the heck is a shulk? But she hulk is what you meant. Ah. Okay, but only if I twerk like she hulk. <laughs> I saw that video. That was a... <gasps> no, I didn't salt the water. Now I did. I thought you were supposed to use it like, I thought you were supposed to put salt in when you mash. I guess not. I don't know. Okay, I need a, like a casserole dish for this somewhere. Okay. Do you think something like this will work? And the oven's not ready yet. But it's okay, because we haven't mashed yet. So... Still cooking. Mm. Oh, you. Oh, I see. Okay, I have a serious question. If there's any British people left in the chat, do you guys get like mad when like Americans or other people like? try to speak in a British accent and do like the whole thing where it's like, would you like a cup of tea? Like, do you guys get mad at that? Or do you think it's funny? Or like, do you not care? I'm just curious. Cause like growing up, I would like fake a British accent because I thought it sounded like so cool. <laughs> But I won't do it if you guys don't like it. I just think British accents sound so elegant. Oh, we're hydrating. <sighs> Thanks for the follow, good citizen. I'm from Pennsylvania. I don't mind. <laughs> British people do fake American accents just as much to make fun of y'all. Okay, okay. I don't, okay, I feel it now. I get you. Ah, uh, okay. We're at 69 viewers, guys. Nice. 
I think it's time to mash. The white is gone in the middle, which I think means something. Like, I think it means, like, the something about the starch, something about the chemistry of it all. It's telling me that they're done. And let's just start with a couple pieces. Oop. Just the mashing. We're gonna put some butter too. This butter is actually imported from Ireland. How much will you be streaming until we're done? With the dishes, because I know you guys like to see me wash the dishes. Guys, I don't know how the heck I'm going to... I can use my KitchenAid to mash. Because I don't know how well this will work, so... Yeah, I think the KitchenAid is the way to go. I stepped on something very pokey, and I don't know what it is. Does that ever happen to you guys? You, like, step on something, and, like, nothing's there? It's like, what the heck was this invisible sharp thing? good attachment for it. Maybe it may no, maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know, should we use the whisk or the paddle? have to just chop them up a little bit more. Yeah, that might be what we have to do. too many in there at once for this to handle. Use that she candy string. Thank you. Yes. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, how many of the potatoes did you use? All of them. This one? No, they're not from she candy just told you before. I was going to use one of them for gnocchi, but it's fine. Not show cheese. 
ideas. Sorry guys, I had a customer. Just you. No, they're pretty soft. I'm pr I'm like almost positive they're ready. It was just one that was hard. Yeah. Yeah. There was just too much for the KitchenAid to handle all at once. Oh my god! Oh no! Ah! Five second rule! We have to chop them up even more! No! <laughs> Candy clumsy cook! them up a lot like they're really small chunks second drop of the stream yeah so Potatoes. I like potatoes too. Ooh, like with some chives and sour cream and salt and pepper. Mm. Donkey. I forget. I don't even remember why he says donkey. Like, is he calling someone an ass? Is that what it is? Or do you think this is good? Look at the steam. Ooh. I feel like a witch. That's fine. Okay. Hey, thanks for the follow. Yeah. 
have to match that? Okay, maybe if I just do this. I don't know why they're doing this. Can you say hi to my sister? Soki Siona, hi. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope you like my stream, even though I totally messed up and these potatoes attacked me. <laughs> They're alive. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this needed like more mashing than I thought. Oh, unless it wants me to add the um, more milk. Maybe that's what it is too. Okay. Let's see this again. Let's try this. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. Kind of, not really. Do you see that? They're like wanting to attack me, but then they're like, oh, just kidding. Potatoes are actually a fruit, really? I do not know that. Okay, so. I need to look up a substitute for a masher. Or I just do this again. Potatoes are the first fruit successfully grown in space? I didn't know we grew shit in space. What? I do have a tattoo. I don't know if you can see it, but it is on my ankle. And it's an olive branch. Thanks for the follow. Biscuits and gravy. 
I should make biscuits and gravy next. Some of the harder chunks, I think I might put back in the boiling water. I think that's our problem. I don't think that they're soft enough. So these potatoes are going back. But that's okay, because in the meantime, we can start on the pumpkin pie. My favorite color is pink. It's always been pink. I have been such a girly girl. From like a young age, I love pink. Even though pink was like originally, I think it was like um, known as a more manly color, apparently. Mm. Can use a. I. I have a food processor. But it's a very small and it's not going to help us much. I think I'm just going to have to boil them more and make sure they're like softer. And then we'll throw them back in here to mash. greatly now. This is our pie crust. And actually, hmm, that's not good. We're going to have to roll out our pie crust. Do I have a favorite Halloween movie? Trick or Treat and Halloween. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. Whose wife is better, Daisy? I don't know. We're gonna have to really stretch out. Let me see if I have a rolling pin. That would be very helpful. Yeah, have a rolling pin. I do. Aha! I do have a very long rolling pin. So we're going to use that to roll out the pie crust. a rolling pin to mash the potatoes if I put them into a bag. If if it doesn't work, um, putting them in the KitchenAid, then I will definitely need, need to do that. Aw, how cute. My cat um, bakes bread every day. She's a chef. I do have a favorite Halloween snack. I'm going to show you it right now. Okay. These Joe 
Georgia. Ooh. This one is like a pumpkin spice flavored, and then this one is the chocolate. So good. Oh, I love cats too. Bella and Sweetie are both chefs. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Even do this. Oh, um, they're sold at Trader Joe's. It's, I know it's an American thing. I don't think, I think it's just in America. I don't, I don't even think there's a Trader Joe's in Canada. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna set this aside and hopefully the potatoes are ready. Let's see. Tell if they're mashing yet. Oh, yep. They're mashable now. Perfect. They just need a oh my god, good season. You really are good citizen, thank you. Okay, so 
pro tip, potatoes, <laughs> potatoes kind of take a long time to be mashable, so I'm going to remember that. Yep, this is definitely much better. Much, much better. Oh man, my arm is tired. for this shepherd's pie. It's going to be so good. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, thanks for the follow. Oh, man. These really are potatoes like sucked up the milk so I think I'm gonna put um, milk or even heavy cream to get it a little bit more fluffy Can we do live movie watches? Or can you get in trouble for like copyright? What's up, Biscuit?
This looks perfect. Now we're going to put this on top. Okay, perfect. Looks really good. It's really full, so I hope it doesn't spill over. Okay, ready? the mash nah it's fine it was ruffled enough by this bad boy if I ruffle it then it would spill over because it's like pretty high up so we're gonna make pumpkin pie now ready guys Let me put Miss uh, Miss KitchenAid back. Yeah, did good, kid. Okay. Hey, thanks for the follow. So we have our crust ready. Let's see. What do we have to do for the inside? I need a bowl. I need a big bowl. Mm. Oh man, these dishes though. This bowl should work. Hi. I mean, I'm guessing we need, yeah, just like I suspected, a can of pumpkin puree. Which I may have used to make my pumpkin spice latte today. is right here. And we need two large eggs and pumpkin pie spice. Easy.
three because the eggs are small. Pie and ice cream. Pie sucks. Biscuits and gravy. What? Your name is Biscuits and Gravy, but you don't like pie. It's crazy. Not a pie. <laughs> okay. Doesn't that look kind of like throw up? I have turned into the kitchen aid now. Okay, now this is looking like pumpkin. You can see it. It's looking like the pumpkin pie now. Okay. Ah! Oh my god, guys. I found a potato on the floor from the from when they attacked me. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm just gonna use the rest of my cinnamon because I think that's probably about how much they wanted us to use anyways. I'm also going to use nutmeg, ground nutmeg. Just kind of eyeball it. The other thing that it wanted us to use um, was ginger. I have fresh ginger, not ginger and a spice, so I didn't want to change that. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. What else? Is that seriously all the ingredients? Oh shoot, that is seriously it. And hmm. yeah, I just wanted us to pour the pie mixture in here. Okay. Cool. That is looking pretty legit. We're gonna put it in the oven now with the shepherd's pie. I don't think the shepherd's pie minds would mind. And that needs to cook 35 minutes, but it's perfect because the timer for the shepherd's pie is 37 minutes. So they're both gonna be ready at the same time. So freaking good. Hi. The pumpkin doesn't have a lot of flavor on it, so yes, that is why you gotta add more spices. Okay, well in that case, here's what we'll do. I think to make it a 
like a sweet cinnamon. What we'll do is, this is cinnamon sugar. I'm just gonna layer the top with cinnamon sugar. I think that'll be really good. Make it sweeter, more flavor. Because we didn't even add any sugar in this. Yes, I have, I actually do have whipped cream. How perfect. I've never tried the pumpkin muffin at Dunkin'. Now I have to, I love all things pumpkin. Replace pumpkin with sweet potatoes. I've never even heard of that, like a sweet potato pie. Interesting. I like sweet potato. Oh my god, sweet potato fries. You guys, I don't remember who it was, but when I first started streaming on Twitch, somebody suggested to me ketchup mixed with sriracha. And I have eaten it with my fries ever since. This was like a year ago. Um, I don't remember who it was. But yeah, sriracha and ketchup with sweet potato fries, so good. So, what do you guys think? Should we uh, do some dishes? <laughs> so, let's see. These dishes are literally insane. I'm scared. <laughs> You're about to see how many dishes we have to wash. This is uh, a lot of work. Oh my god, it's like a mountain of dishes. <laughs> Put these chips away. Okay, here we go. I feel like I have to even like put this right here for now because there's so many. And that too. Just gotta wait to be washed. With my dish soap. Hi! Oh, my cat is like, where's dinner? She's like, where's dinner? It's around the time I usually give them a can, so they're really, really smart. They can tell time. Say hello. Say hello.
You're right. Once I get in the groove, it is nice and relaxing. Oh no, I still have all this. <laughs> in the dishwasher. Oh no, there's not. Uh, this is what I was looking for. dance stream? I don't know. Probably when I'm done with Luigi's Mansion. And I wanted to play some spooky games as well. If anybody has any spooky game requests, let me know in the chat. I have Phasmophobia, which I can play.
going to smell really, really good. This stream makes me hungry too, because I'm really excited to try the dishes just keep on coming. We still have like a lot of leftover filling, but I don't know what to do with it. Not kidding guys, the dishes keep on coming. There's like more. Oh my god, pumpkin cream puff sounds so bomb. Ugh, this walk is so big. Okay. Um, let's see. There's probably. 
probably more. There's the coffee that I've been mostly finished. A pumpkin spice coffee. Oh my god, there's like 15 minutes left, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try the shepherd's pie and the pumpkin pie. Well, the pumpkin pie we have to let cool a bit, but the shepherd's pie is gonna be so good. I do have a dishwasher, but this is just more fun. But yeah, I do use my dishwasher. This is the only time I actually hand wash dishes with you guys. Because other than that, I use my dishwasher. I'm dropping stuff. Well, we just washed all the dishes, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I think I'm going to check on the pie. Yeah, for sure, I'm going to. Close this bag up. close to overflowing. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's like bubbling like at the very, very like tip of the casserole dish. So I use the leftover meat and the leftover tomato sauce. And I'm just gonna use it as like a meat sauce with pasta. It looks good, don't get me wrong. It just looks like it's overflowing a bit. Oh, dearie me. Shepherd's pie is bubbling, then that's a really good sign. Oh yeah, no, it's, um, it's golden brown, like at the edges of the pie. I think, I think that's, we're doing good. It looks so good. I love like chopping up all of my fruits and vegetables and like putting leftover food in, uh, in mason jars. It's just so much better than using plastic. Get it for ya. so good mm. oh what mission mission am I on so I just did the recording studio in Luigi's mansion it's like the one that's after the plant room but then you have to go 
and beat the cat that steals the button, which was super annoying. So, yeah. Some of these songs are questionable. Now you guys can watch me clean. Do you cook something every week on stream? Yes, I do. Uh, every either Tuesday or Thursday, um, cause when, we did do like Taco. Oh, we did do Taco Tuesday, so it just kind of depends. Um, but actually, what what do you guys think for next week's stream? What should I cook or bake? We've done lasagna, we've done tacos, we've done, oh gosh, I'm blanking. We've done chocolate ganache, um, we've done chicken tikka masala. Be careful taking out the shepherd's pie. Let it rest, it's incredibly hot. Ooh, I believe that. Orange chicken, that would be good. Strawberry cake. Ice cream, I think you could make ice cream in the kitchen aid. Blueberry pie, yum. Spring egg rolls. Sounds good. Churros funnel cake. Mm. Hmm. I've never made gnocchi from scratch. But that would be a good that would be a good one. Calamari, oh my god, how would you, as long as I don't have to like cut up the squid. It's already chopped, I'm okay with that. Chicken wings, that, that would be good. Chicken pot pie, this is basically a pot pie though. Oh shit. It's, it's just bubbling a lot. You guys want to see it? Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you the oven. Okay, ready? See, it's like bubbling a lot. 
Aren't they so cute? They have little cats on them. They look okay. Okay, good. It smells really, really good. We still have about nine minutes left uh, for the timer. So. Am I making something? Am I making something? We just made pumpkin pie and shepherd's pie. Man, those potatoes were kind of a pain. They attacked me. I wanna cook so bad, but McDonald's is just so easy to get. Well, why don't you cook something easy? Just like pasta with like some black pepper and like cheese. efficient cooking yes it is and I totally did not even time it it just happened like that yes oh my gosh this is a lot of work like the amount of dishes guys that we freaking that's all what we use ratatouille what is ratatouille you know I come to think of it I've never actually looked it up. Let me look it up. Oh, thank you, Samuel. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> the what? Put McChicken! <laughs> Is the pie on top? Maybe it will drip down. The pie? The pie is not boiling over, luckily. Oh, is the camera all, is it all foggy? Sorry. Is that better? Okay, I'm looking up Ratatouille. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay. Oh, it's just like a vegetable dish. It's eggplant, tomato, squash, zucchinis, and in the sauce, it's like bell peppers, garlic, tomatoes. Oh, this looks easy. Okay, someone suggested, is it, is it raccoon? I'm going to look it up. Wait. You have me thinking that this is an actual dish, Raspberry. <laughs> I literally thought it was a dish, but it's a freaking movie character. What? <laughs> I love the movie Ratatouille. It's one of my favorite ones. I thought it was I thought it was like a meat dish, like a pasta and meat dish, but it's actually like looks like a veggie, like a veggie, not really soup. Yeah, you know, I think I'm set on making ratatouille next stream. But this is, is it a French dish? Yeah, right, so then we need to make a French dessert to match ratatouille. Let me let me look up French desserts. Let's see here. Chocolate souffle, which was another suggestion that I would be down for. Crepes. 
apple tart, French macaroons, profiteroles, chocolate pots de creme, palmiers, tart tatine, creme brulee, which we made before, galette de ro, French apple tart. Um, according to this website, it's calling a yeah, cho I guess the souffle is French. I kind of want to do chocolate souffles. Uh, French macaroons would be difficult. I've made them before, and they take forever. And if you don't get the almond flour mixture the right consistency then they will not cook right a fancy drink as well to go i like the way you think okay now we need to look up a french cocktail to go along with it okay um, the first one on here is this, which it should focus in a bit. That looks pretty good. So that is called a, what is this called? A classic French 75 cocktail. Gin, champagne, lemon juice, and sugar. Ooh, an apple tart would be bomb too. Maybe we could do that like the following week like apple tart with something like some type of American dish. Oh my God, all of these drinks sound amazing. French martini. Mmm. You wanna see a French martini? There it is. Looks so good. It has like raspberry, uh, vodka, pineapple juice, raspberry liqueur. And you have to um, mix it in a shaker. <laughs> okay, I'll wear, I'll totally wear a French mustache. What about, hmm, I'm going to look that up. I don't think I even know how to pronounce that. Karjalin Paraka? Let's see. Ooh, what is this interesting thing? This looks like egg, egg and butter. Ooh, this is what it looks like. Oh, you just need, oh, the filling is just rice, water, and milk? Oh, this is easy. Miller Fiel? Let me see. Miller Fiel. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's like a layered, it's called a thousand sheets. And it's like a layered dessert. That's what that looks like. Miller Filet. <gasps> empanadas. Oh my God, I love empanadas. I would be so down. Okay, so we have it covered. So next stream, next Thursday, we're doing French cooking. We're doing ratatouille and I'm kind of just, I'm kind of set on chocolate souffle you guys because I love chocolate. We did creme brulee and it turned out bomb. I'm pronouncing it so funny. Am I saying, 
Ratatouille. Is that? <gasps> it's running! Actually, it's not. The pumpkin pie looks about ready, but not the shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie needs more time. Actually, they both need more time. It's a little too jiggly. It needs to go back in there. Gonna keep the temperature a little bit higher so it can cook a little bit faster. We're gonna try and You really have to see it. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're doing Ratatouille Chocolate Souffle and that French 75 cocktail with the lemon. That sounded so good. And then the following week, we're doing empanadas. And <gasps> guys, let's do flan with the empanadas for the following week. Oh my god, this is like so exciting right now. <laughs> I'm just, I just love how we're like making food from like just every country. Because, let's see, we've done Italy because we made lasagna. We've done Britain today. Um, we've done India. We've done... What else did we do? Obviously, we're going to do Mexico, France. Oh, Paraka, that's Finnish, so we'll do a Finnish stream. We need, we need some Chinese recipes and some Japanese recipes, too. <gasps> we could do sushi. Oh, yep. Nigerian food, I've, although I've never eaten it, I've been sitting next to someone that was eating it and it smells so good so I would be down to do that too there's like so many ideas you guys I want to try this I want to try this so bad but I don't think it's ready like if like it's golden browned all on the outside but like the very middle part of it is not is like the same color as when I put it in there so I feel like it's slowly cooking everywhere duck meat ramen interesting hmm Let me see, let me see what, what Nigerian food I would do. Jollof rice is the most famous Nigerian dish. Hmm, what is in it? Let me see. Oh, jollof rice is just like rice, tomatoes. Oh, that's a lot of different meats. I don't know about that one. Oh, it's done? Okay. Oh my god. I 
I feel like I need, like, I feel like it's going to be so hot. I need, like, extra gloves, too, to protect myself. I want to protect my arms. This is going to be so hot in case it spills on me. Only the edges? Oh, okay, then it's probably ready. You have no, have no idea how many times I've burned myself. Okay. We're protected. Here we go. to rest you guys can see it right see how like this it's like brown but the middle is not that brown but yeah we gotta let it rest for sure yeah no it's gonna be I'm trying to see so it looks like The potato mixture is like a third deep into like the meat mixture, which I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. It smells and looks good though. And the pumpkin pie. No, pumpkin pie still needs time. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's almost 6.30. I need to feed my cat really quick, hold on. My cats, I should say. Come on. Get your dinner. Okay. I have my spoon ready. so much anymore. The middle should be piping hot. I mean, it's steaming, so it probably is. Quick ASMR bowl tap. I don't know how loud that sounds, you guys. <laughs> Is it too loud? Set it down first. Like that. <laughs> it's like a gong. Okay. 
Okay, I feel like... I feel like it's gotta be... It's gotta be ready. It stopped bubbling now. Is it gonna be too hot? I'll just blow on it. God, it's like steaming a lot. It's really hot. <laughs> It's so hot right now. Look at that. But it's so good. I have some peas and carrots in this bite and also some of the ground beef. So now I'm going to try the whole thing. Oh my god, it's so... Oh, steamed a little. Oh my god, that's so good. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. I can't believe how good this is. The pumpkin pie is ready but I don't remember um, how long it's supposed to set for my oregano plant died so no right now okay the best and easiest way to check if your pumpkin pie is done insert a knife if it comes out clean it's done okay but how do we Oh, you have to let it like cool completely. Okay, so let me see if it's even done. Get our fork. Yay, it came out clean. see where I stabbed it I also like accidentally stabbed it somewhere else with a fork but whatever it's so cool. <laughs> okay I'm gonna let that cool and I'm gonna maybe if I put it in the freezer it'll cool faster hmm Yeah, put that in the fridge for a little. 
Okay, I am gonna try more of this shepherd's pie now. Since I had a little bit of time to cool. And now you guys can see it close up. The camera would focus, there you go. Okay. All right, we're gonna try it again. It tastes amazing. Very hot. Very hot, but it tastes little perfect. British people eat, huh? <laughs> Conquer the entire world for spices and then cook with that one. I think I think I have a customer, guys. So we're gonna see what he thinks too. So good it's like literally burning my mouth but that's how good it tastes and I'm just like oh. also the heavy whipping cream was a really good choice because it did make the topping like way more fluffy and I don't know if maybe if traditionally it's supposed to be like a harder crust this is definitely a softer crust but I don't mind it <laughs> has to pay Doritos <laughs> pay for Doritos and the pies I'll tell him how much should we charge a slice for our shepherd's pie should we charge like five bucks a piece I feel like I feel like this would serve like I feel like this would serve like seven people. There's a lot. I need to go deliver it to you guys. This is a ton. Okay, this pumpkin pie though. Is it bad to try it if it's a little warm? Because I think I might. Just so you guys can know how it is. Ready? Oh my god, my mouth is just gonna be burning tonight <laughs> with all of this hot food. Okay. Mm. This is the best pumpkin pie I've ever had. I'm not even kidding and it's hot too <laughs> but it tastes amazing still <laughs> it tastes like a pumpkin souffle right now oh my god this is so so amazing I can't believe how good we did today you guys We got to try it. We got it, Sam.
I cannot believe this. We did such an amazing job. This was like, I can't believe how well this turned out. <laughs> and it took us two and a half hours to make both pies. So I would say that it was well worth the length of time it took us to make this. Um, I'm going to go serve my husband this amazing meal and cut myself another slice. So I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Not that clumsy candy cook. Thanks a lot, Yofi. <laughs> this clumsy candy cook just made an amazing meal, okay? So I'll see you guys next Thursday for some French cooking and on Tuesday for Luigi's Mansion. Ooh, spooky. I love you guys.